G'day guys, it's Chef here, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, today I want to show you a tutorial on the, how I upgrade my Minecraft. Um, so I'm sitting here on 142 of the client. So if I was to launch the client and run it and um, log in, you will see new update available. Now whenever I see that, I say, okay, we don't want to do that just yet. We're going to say not now. Okay, so I'm going to quit the game. Now, what I normally use, I do use Magic Launcher. And when you launch with Magic Launcher, um, you'll find that if you launch Minecraft from Magic Launcher, it won't actually inform you that there is an update. So it's worth it if you know that there's an update coming out to go into uh, the Minecraft Direct, and that'll let you know that it's definitely there and ready. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, show you just real quick how I installed Launcher. Launcher, I you simply do a Google search for uh, Magic Launcher. Now Magic Launcher is actually um, part of the uh, Optifine uh, mod that I use. Optifine is really primarily used to give you better quality um, video when you're capturing and things like that. So if you do a search for Magic Launcher you'll usually find it fairly easily. Um, here you'll see uh, down further you've got the Magic Launcher 1.0 is the current version and I just click on for Windows, downloads an executable and all you simply do is place that in uh, a folder of your choosing. So if you have a look in here, I've got my Minecraft. Uh, great, yeah. Try again. C games and Minecraft. And in here, I've got this folder called Tools. In here, I've got Magic Launcher, and I'm up to version 1.00. So all I do is I, I have my little folder here, which is just a shortcut to that. So Magic Launcher 1.00. And that's how I launched the game. So it's very straightforward. You just basically download it, stick it in a folder, create a shortcut, and use that to launch. We'll go through the setup of that uh, a little bit later. Okay, so we're going to, when we set up Launcher, okay, when you do an upgrade, what it does is it comes into your app data. So if I just, the way you find app data is you go percentage, app data, percentage, hit enter and then straight into Minecraft and bin. And in there you'll find the Minecraft.jar. That is the absolute latest, that's 142. Now that's going to upgrade when I launch it to 144. So I don't want to lose this version. So I'm going to copy this version. I paste it and it says Minecraft copy. And I just usually put there the version number. It just helps me know which one I'm, I'm doing. So I know that this one is version 142. Uh, actually, I don't know why I've done it there. I've done dash one dot four dot two dot jar, and as you can see here, these are my previous versions as well. So what we've got is we've got a copy of our current jar, which is one four two, and our current jar is sitting there, ready to be upgraded. Let the system upgrade it. That's what it's there for. So I'm going to now launch one four two, which should still be using that jar file. And I'm launching it directly from the Minecraft. So I'm going to log in. It's going to say, would you like to update? I was going to say yes. So we'll just have a quick look at the timestamp. You see that's at 26.10 at 5.30 p.m. So I'm going to update it. Downloads the packages. Retrieving the Minecraft.jar. And this is doing the upgrade process through the tool. There's, there's nothing technical. There's no editing my, you know, jar files with zip, zip uh, tools or anything like that. So it's very simple. Uh, for the non-technical user. Uh, so we'll just let that run through and when she gets up to 100% the game will launch and you can see down the bottom here we're now on 144. Okay so what we want to do we're going to quit the game and you'll see there now it's 16.11 at 9.07 p.m. which is where I'm recording now. Alright the second step so that, that's given us we've now got the 144 and we've got the 142. Now how we set that up in Magic Launcher is like this. So when we launch Magic Launcher, you can go into the setup window. So I'm going to go into the setup window now. And I've got just the default one, okay? And it's, you can see here Optifine is not compatible. 
blah 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 it's picked the minecraft jar I always leave my default as being the latest so I'm going to turn that off all right so that's pointing at the 142 144 jar I'm going to turn off optifine 142 because it's not compatible and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, configuration and I'm going to call this 1.4.2 right, so I'm going back to the previous one I'm going to copy it from the default so we've got all the same settings so here's 142 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say no I don't want to use that jar file I want to select and it's just gone straight to my bin file because that's where I had it previously I'm going to select the 142 jar and it's now saying okay when I select this configuration I'm going to use the 142 jar. I'm going to use Optifine. Okay. I click OK. And so now you'll see I've got my default, which is 144. This is for the Amiga Fusion server. This is 132. This is bucket. And this is 142. So if I want to play 142 or the client, I simply select that, log in, and away we go. And you'll see down the bottom, we're now on 142. If I want to swap swap over to 144 I simply go to the default or you can even create one on 144 log in and I'm now launching and playing on 144 144 without Optifine um, and it's as simple as that so magic launcher and a great little tool fantastic for Optifine highly recommend it I'll put the links in the description below and uh, yeah it makes uh, updating your Minecraft uh, a lot easier so you can go back and play other servers when they're not quite ready for you to upgrade so that's about it for the tutorial and hope you find it useful see you later